The Magic School Bus and the Climate Challenge by Joanna Cole and Bruce Deacon. Have you heard about our teacher, Miss Frizzle? Almost every day, something weird happens in her class. For example, take the day we started to study global warming. We were going to put on a play about Earth and all the changes that are happening. The Frizz had brought us a book from home, and we were using the pictures to help us paint the scenery. Miss Frizzle's book is kind of old, said Tim. It came out before things really started heating up. I'll go online to get new pictures, said Wanda. She headed for a computer, but Miss Frizzle was already out the door. Come on, class, she called. Bring my book, please. Before you could say North Pole, the Frizz herded us onto the bus. She pushed a few buttons and pulled a few levers. Then, we were on our way to the Arctic Sea, a place with a completely different climate. When we got there, Dorothy Ann opened Miss Frizzle's old book. The pictures showed ice everywhere. There was still plenty of ice in the Arctic, but a lot had melted, and more was melting all the time. Miss Frizzle steered the bus plane all over the Earth, and we saw changes everywhere. Global warming is melting permafrost, soil that is usually frozen. It makes some places too dry. It raises the sea level. It changes the ocean chemistry and harms coral reefs and other sea life. Warming causes stronger hurricanes and tornadoes, and more forest fires, and bigger blizzards. It causes animals and plants to die or to move, and strange weather hurts food crops. Aren't you children wondering why the earth is getting warmer and warmer? asked Miss Frizzle. Actually, we were wondering why she was steering the bus plane higher and higher. Most of today's warming is caused by the increasing level of heat-trapping gases in the atmosphere, said the Frizz. Heat-trapping gases are also called greenhouse gases. She had that funny gleam in her eye. We could tell something interesting was about to happen. The Frizz was going to show us how the atmosphere could make the Earth get warmer. She had flown up so we could look down on the Earth. She gave us special microscope goggles, and then we could see the gas molecules in the air. Now, our teacher opened the bus door. Catch a sunbeam, kids, she said, cheerfully pushing us out. We started sliding toward the earth on our own sunbeams. Our sunbeams landed gently and warmed the soil. As the heat started rising from the earth, we found ourselves going right along with it. What an opportunity, shouted the Frizz. We're going to learn about the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse gases trapped some of the heat. That heat headed back to earth again. It raised the earth's temperature even higher than before. As we went back to earth, we looked down. Carbon dioxide, or CO2, was rising into the air. A lot of extra CO2 is made when people burn fossil fuels, said the Frizz. Wow, we had finally found out what was causing climate change. It was mostly people, including us, and we panicked. How can we stop global warming, we wailed. One way is to use less energy, the Frizz said. Another way is to use alternative energy. That's energy made with less or no fossil fuels. Our teacher shooed us back on the bus plane. Like it or not, we were on our way to see some alternative energy. We set out to see generators, machines that make electricity. Most generators burn fossil fuel to spin their turbines and make electricity. 
alternative generators make it without fossil fuels. In the countryside, we saw another alternative, windmills. A wind turns the blades. Anything that moves has energy, the frizz said, and energy can be made into electricity. As we flew over a desert, we heard a loud crunch. Out the window, we saw the bus plane's wings fall off. Miss Frizzle, we yelled, but she didn't seem to notice. She was too busy telling us about more alternative energy. This time, she pointed to a huge solar generator below. The bus made a crash landing. Oops, we mean a splash landing. We were floating in a solar heated swimming pool. Miss Frizzle kept talking, telling us about solar cells. They make energy directly from the sun, with no moving parts. The bus stopped being a pool toy, so we rode into town. Everywhere, people were saving energy. Instead of driving private cars, many were using trains, buses, taxis, and bikes, as well as more fuel efficient vehicles. Miss Frizzle pulled a bright green lever. At once, the bus morphed into a hybrid vehicle that ran on gasoline and rechargeable battery. Can we please go back to school, Miss Frizzle? We begged. We've been on this bus too long. And for once, our teacher listened. We're back, the Frizz exclaimed, pulling into the school parking lot. We put our goggles back on and we saw greenhouse gases all over the place. We had to start saving energy right away. Conserve, 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 shouted the Frizz. Recycle, recycle, recycle. We started making changes at our school. There was plenty of room for improvement. Then we called the mayor of our town. Then we wrote to the president. Finally, we had time to put on our play. It was about everything we had seen on our trip. We showed what global warming was doing to our planet. And then we told about how people can help. Can you believe it? A TV station found out about us, and then we got to be on television. As we left school, we asked our teacher, Will the earth really be okay, Miss Frizzle? I hope so, said the Frizz. Our only chance is to work together. Every person, every city, every country.